What's up guys, Clintus here, welcome back to Destiny. The Taken King has arrived and we kicked his butt, man. We kicked his butt. It was awesome. And for now at least, he'll come back on Friday and uh, try to really kick our butt in the raid. It's gonna be awesome. Super excited about it. Got a lot to do before we get there though. Uh, but I thought I would give you a little progress report, a little, little check-in, a little update on uh, where I'm at after day one. Because it was super epic, man. I got up at 1.30 in the morning. And Taken King came out at 2 in the morning, started streaming, I streamed for 6 hours. We completed the whole story mission in 3 hours. I uh, did the Stormcaller quest to get my Stormcaller subclass. And then we just did a little patrols and a couple of quests and whatnot. It was just so much, man. There's just so much to do in this game. We haven't even scratched the surface, man. Didn't even scratch the surface. There's so much content in the Taken King. And I'm super, super excited to play it and share it with all of you guys. If you haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot of live streams here on YouTube and YouTube Gaming. Um, I highly recommend you go download the app, YouTube Gaming. Uh, go to Clintus Games, click the star, add me. You get notified each and every time I go live. It's just like Twitch, super awesome. And I've been, I'll basically be streaming every day, at least once a day, usually twice a day. And uh, you're gonna get a lot of Destiny. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to play other games. When are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do that? Play more of that, stream this, da 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 da. I'm a Destiny player, guys. It's what I love, it's what I wanna play. That's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. Uh, you'll probably get Black Ops 3 when Black Ops 3 comes out in November. I am excited about Black Ops 3. I did pre-order it. You will get live streams. You will get gameplays of that. But that's pretty much it. Like That's all I want to play, man. I like first-person shooters. Like I don't like this. This is not my kind of gameplay. This is GTA 5. I don't like it. It's not me. It's not me. For those of you guys who say, well, you can go first-person in GTA 5. That's not the point, man. It's not a first-person shooter. It's, it's not. It's not Call of Duty. It's not Destiny. So we're going to talk about Destiny, man. Day one, here's what I look like. Ready? Oh, yeah. You like those moves? On the rooftop. On the rooftop. Yeah. Here's what I look like after day one, guys. I went Warlock, which means I now have the Stormcaller subclass. I filled in the first two row of bubbles. I'm working on row three. It's super, super fun to use. I love it. Uh, I am level 40, which does not mean anything. I was level 39 before I even started the missions just by turning in bounties and using a focus light and stuff. This All this means is like access key. Access key? I don't need an access key. Yes, this is your access key. Basically, this means that I can use every weapon and every piece of armor because I'm high enough level and I can play every every activity in the game. But you, just because you can play doesn't mean you can actually do anything in it because this number right here, your light level, that is all that matters, boys and girls. That is everything now in the Taken King. And what this is, is a, it's an average of your attack and defense values across everything. So, all your guns have attack values, all your armor have defense values, and it's an average of the two. So you want these to be as high as possible. That does not always mean purple and yellow. As you can see here, I have a blue rocket launcher at 245, and this legendary is only 248. And this was 220. I've infused it a few times, I've made it 248, but this rocket launcher just out of the gate is 245. And that's what's crazy about this game is the mechanics have all changed. It makes you do things you don't think you want to do. Like, I don't want to use blue, but man, it's better. It's, we're going to use it. Um, this is my first legendary. I got it from the Vanguard when I completed the story mission, uh, The Taken King. It's an auto rifle, and it's super, super fun to use. I love it, man. I, auto rifles are back in a big, bad way. I am super happy about it because I love auto rifles. I do. And fusion rifles. They're fun. But yeah, it's Vanguard. You get you get to pick a gun out when you complete the story mission. You'll get one as well. Uh, this is my first exotic. I got it in a um, a, a uh, legendary Ingram. It's the fourth horseman. It is year two edition. It's got a 290 attack, which is almost twice as much as the last year's model. It's pretty awesome. Uh, no no legendary uh, uh, head rocket uh, heavies. I don't have any legendary specials either. I just got this one exotic. Got a legendary ghost. Got some rare artifacts, which just are more defense stuff. Love this helmet. Got this from the Vanguard as well. Love it a lot. Love it a lot. Uh, Vanguard gloves. Don't have a legendary chest armor yet. That's what I'm missing to really boost my light level big time. Got some crucible boots. And then I got this armband from the Future War Cult, which I love, man. I love the lights. It's like it's like something Daft Punk would wear, you know what I mean? And the coolest perk on it is it uh, increases your crucible reputation gain. So you're going to... Level up a little bit faster. It's probably like a 5 to 10% boost, which, you know, every little bit helps. And then I got this other one from uh, Vanguard when I completed my 
Stormcaller quest. Same concept, and boosts my Vanguard reputation. So very, very cool. Depending on what I'm doing, it's going to boost me up a little bit here and there. It's good stuff, man. Uh, also, I got my year one uh, perks. My, my uh, what's it, my VIP perks. Got this really cool shader. I love it. It's probably my favorite one. It's all black, man. It's just all black. I love it. Black is back, baby. I'll lock that one. I'm not going to delete that one. Um, I also got in that package a new Sparrow. It's all black as well. And then I got a new emblem, but I put it over on my Titan because I wanted a new emblem over there as well. This one, though, is more near and dear to my heart. This one means that I did all the things that you could do in year one. I, I beat Vog on hard. I beat Crota on hard. I beat Skolas. I got all the golden chests. I uh, completed, I don't know, a, a certain number of strikes. I, I, don't know, I did all the things, man. All those little yellow circles are the things you do in year one, and I did them all. I did them all. So super excited about that. I'm mean, not the emblem I'm rocking. So there you go, man. That is year one. That's day one. Excuse me. Day one, Taken King. Uh, I hope you I hope you enjoyed watching the streams. If you had a chance to watch the streams, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below how your first day of Taken King was. Did you hit level 40? Did you beat Did you beat the story? What light level are you at? Did you get any legendaries? Did you get any exotics? Uh, have you found anything super cool in the Dreadnought? Because there was tons of stuff in the Dreadnought, man, let me tell you. Uh, and we will see you next time in the Taken King.